It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Warby Parker, the eyewell retailer, created was started in 2012, and it really created a ripple effect in the way that we purchase eyewear and the way that we wear eyeglasses. And they sell some of the most high-quality glasses in the industry at below 100 bucks, which seems unusual, right? It all started because an MBA student at Wharton, Neil Blumenthal, had a problem. The problem was he was frustrated at going to the eyeglass store to try on his glasses and so forth. And the other side was they were costing too much money. I mean, the description was just outrageous. Hence, he birthed the idea of Warby Parker. Now, when Warby Parker first got started, they took it online. And here's a good problem that they had that I know every business owner would want to have, right? Which is they exceeded their one-year sales goal in the first three weeks. Imagine that. You set a sales goal. You think it's pretty aggressive. In the first three weeks, you surpass it. But that high demand created a huge problem. The problem was the system couldn't handle it. So they had a sales system in place. They had a sales foundation in place. But in doing so, it created an effect with the back office where they couldn't produce fast enough. Hence the problem. But Warby Parker's success can be contributed to three things. They did three things that I want you to be aware of that you may be doing right now as a CEO that you can implement. Number one, they disrupted the market by taking something that was offline and decided to bring it online. Number two, they made it affordable and they had this unique you can try the glasses at home program. Imagine that. And so it kind of empowered the mom, it empowered the dad, it empowered the busy person to be able to do it on their time. And then number three, and number three, the most important part is they created a humanitarian kind of give back. So they created a cause, which means for every dollar that was spent while you purchasing Warby Parker glasses, they were able to give it to a cause that served humanity. Whoa, not a new idea but an idea that we can all implement. So what's my big takeaway for you as the CEO? There are two takeaways. Number one, number one is have a sales system in place. Have at least a one-page sales plan. If you don't have one, you can just comment below, comment below, and just put down CEO sales plan. Every CEO needs a one-page sales plan that they can look at every day. Number two, number two is they had a sales system. So by having a sales system and sales strategy, they were able to really increase their revenue, and they are the Warby Parker, well, huge success they are today. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. I'm super excited that you're here today. Now, as we welcome you, welcome you aboard, we do something every morning, which is called our pledge. And our pledge is, well, I think it's one of the most important parts we do. I take time to do this every single morning. And here's what the pledge says. Uh, let me get so you can see this. Repeat after me. Repeat these words after me. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. So without sales, there will always be more money going out than there is going in. You got that, but I want you to know the focus has to be there. The focus has to be there. Number two, and this is what we do every day. We do our Pledge of Allegiance. So we have our mantra, and then we have what we, I call our pledge, right? We pledge every morning. As a CEO, every day when you get up, you need to look at your business and say three things. I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. Now, repeat after me on the right-hand side those mantras. This is our pledge every single morning. We're at the four minute and 10 second mark. So repeat after me. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from current clients in order to get old and existing clients to return. Learn, earn, and return. There's a reason why we do that every single morning. And the number one reason we do it every single morning is that I want us to always remember that there's something that we need to do, something we're responsible. No one else is responsible for this but us. Okay, now. The three objectives we have every single morning. First, this whole 15 minutes that we have together is about sales growth. We're gonna grow the business, okay? Number two is about addressing roadblocks. Life happens, business happens, there's high highs and low lows, there's ups and there's downs, but we're gonna address the roadblock. And number three 
We're going to understand the five sales pillars that every CEO must know and understand. I say this every morning because I want to be ingrained, embedded in you. Number one, sales planning. You must have a one-page sales plan. If you don't have one, we can help you with that. Number two, you must, and hear me clearly, understand your sales cycle so you can accelerate that when they first Get associated with your company till they purchase. Number three, sales messaging, which is the words that you're using when you're out there. Number four, it sells indicators. We have the CEO sales dashboard, the number one sales tool the CEOs use to grow their business, which we'll talk about in a moment. And number five, the sales team. Somebody got to go generate the revenue. Maybe it's you right now, and that's okay. You are the number one salesperson in your company. Nothing wrong with that at all. Congratulations. You got this. You can do this. So what is our number one objective? First, to make sure every single morning you open up the CEO sales dashboard. You can get the CEO sales dashboard. If you don't have it, there's no cost. There's no credit card. There's no check. There's no zelly at the six-minute mark. You must go over to www.ceosaleshuddle.com. Again, www dot ceo sales huddle.com and download the ceo sales huddle for all the folks who are here every morning thank you so much i love reading the comments below i love getting the text messages and the emails that are sent out to to me so if you're watching right now there's two things to do one look right below the video and put hashtag i'm here just put hashtag i'm here no matter where you're watching this what platform you're on uh what syndication agreement you're in where you are on social media Hashtag, I'm here. That's a check-in. Number two, if you're watching the replay, congratulations. You're still here. You showed up. I mean, you're making a step. So go ahead and put hashtag replay. That's just the best signal between you and I that we're going to be able to communicate. Now, if you're on the on-demand streaming platform, I get it. If you're listening to the podcast, thank you for all the downloads we get. It's so amazing, by the way. Um, you can go over to at I am Che Brown. Drop me a comment. Say, hey, I'm in the building. Uh, this is what I'm enjoying. For all of the new folks who are here for the very first time and want to know what is going on, why, why are we here, let me go ahead and share with you the reason that the CEO Sales Huddle exists. The CEO Sales Huddle exists because it's a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. That's our number one goal. So we know you know how to sell. We know you know what you're doing, but we want to sell more faster. We're here for our big why that supports our outcome. Three things. Sales growth. This is why you're here. Accountability. This is why I want you to tune in every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And consistency. You may have heard this before. We'll often do more for others than we will do for ourselves which is very important. We only ask for 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. That's 1% of your day. There are 1,440 minutes in every day. We ask for 15 minutes. We've got one outcome, one outcome and one outcome or only. And I want you to see this. It's $100,000 per month of consistent, predictable, reliable income. For some of you, that doesn't mean anything at all. You're doubling that number. For others of you, to get to that number would be the best of the best of the best. There is no barrier. So you're able to join. You're able to tune in. And guess what? It don't cost you anything. Only thing you have to do is show up. You got to show up for your business and you have to show up for yourself. So thanks for being here. We're at the eight minute and 32 second mark. We're now at, I believe, one of the most important parts. Because what gets measured gets managed. And we're now going to take a look at the CEO sales dashboard. Open it up right now if you have not downloaded it. If you haven't downloaded it, it's on you. Go over to www.ceosaleshuddle.com. Follow the instructions. But the CEO sales dashboard, it's, we're at the uh, 8 minute and 56 second mark. We take three minutes and we look and we measure and manage our indicators. We got leads, appointments offers, deals, and repeat business. Now, now these are five categories. There, there are many, but these five categories, if you're following me and you're in this conversation, my promise to you is that you will see growth because if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. And so we're going to focus on the one area that we know get us the results. Now, here's what you're going to do. Go over and open up your CEO sales dashboard right now. Now, it doesn't matter to me if you fill it out. Gotcha, Shay Brown. Doesn't matter to me if you have an assistant fill it out. Gotcha, Shay Brown. Doesn't matter if you go with a fiver and pay someone $2 to go fill it out, okay? Every morning, you open this up. If you got to do it right now, that's okay with it. Nine minute and 53 second mark. 
there, there are boxes on the right-hand side. It's an Excel sheet. You go over to the date that you're on right now. You look at how many leads came in yesterday, how many appointments were set and run, how many offers were made. But let's look at deals because once a day, I spend about two minutes and I focus on one category. There are subcategories here. Sure, you can go in if you want and you can go ahead and change it around. That's nothing wrong with that. But, but this is important. It really is. So let's take a look if we can. And let's bring that up and show that to them if we can. And let's take a look at deals. Now, yes, there's how many leads came in. I got it. But on deals, here's the biggest challenge. <clears throat> many times, myself included, I used to always look at if I didn't get a deal, it was a flat out waste of a day, right? Because, you know, that's how we get measured in sales. We have to generate revenue to stay in business so we can pay our bills. And as I beat myself up, I, I discover something that I haven't read anywhere in all my readings that when you beat yourself up, you do a better job. So I found myself saying, well, under deals, let me measure a couple areas, right? Because I can measure it. Number one, what deals were closed that day? And that's a hoorah, hoorah, hoorah. And that's, that's wonderful. That's needed. Number two, how many deals were just pending? Because what I noticed is when I put things into the pending queue and I followed up, more revenue came in. So I said, hmm, at the end of the day, maybe I only got one deal, but maybe there was five deals that are pending or opportunities that are out there. And then we took it another layer below that. Now, you don't have to do this. You can customize this. You can just start with measuring deals. But I found working with my clients and many people who I never work with, we just teach this, is what if we had three areas under deals? We had hot, warm, and cold. And under hot, warm, and cold, once we finished the conversation and we asked the person to take a step forward, if they said yes, and it was a hot deal, meaning it could close within the next two weeks. So it's hot. Um, they promised to send the credit card in. Um, uh, they promised to, to sign the contract. Um, uh, they promised to wire the money, whatever it is. But you, you feel confident it's going to happen in the next two weeks, if not sooner. Got it. Don't go further out than two weeks. Okay. Then there's the warm leads. Warm leads means they're interested. Maybe they got to talk to someone. They're there. Your gut. Now, this is all based on your instincts, based on your industry, based on your experience. But a warm lead typically is someone's going to close within the first 30 days. Could go as long as 45 days, but depending on your industry, but 30 is a good number. And then there's cold. Cold means they're thinking about it. You know, you're like, eh, on a scale of one to 10, maybe they're one or two, but they, they, you're not out the game yet. Um, but they're cold, meaning I got when I talk to them again next time, you know you have to go back and discover their 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 problem, make sure you clearly hear what they're looking for, and then you have to re-engage them. Okay. When you do that, you'll find yourself in a much better situation. And now you're tracking it. So take a look at it. Look at where we are in the month right now. And look back at deals. How many deals closed this month? If you don't know that number, it's okay. It's not a good thing or a bad thing, but I am going to encourage you right now to make sure you download the CEO sales dashboard and forever, 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 forever from this moment going forward, you know the numbers. Not so much know the numbers. Everybody say, oh, you got to know your numbers. You got to know your numbers. You got to know your numbers. You know, that was cool and that was cute back in my day, but uh, maybe, maybe I'll talk about that um, on the word of the week, but it's no longer about knowing your numbers. It's about measure and managing your sales indicators. That's, that's what it is. Not just, oh, you got to know your numbers. What are you, you, you can know your numbers and not even measure it. You can know your weight and do absolutely nothing about it. You can know what's in your bank account and do nothing about it. No, we're going to measure, we're going to manage, and we're going to take direct action. That's how we make progress. And if you want to know how someone's going to be happy or, or, or feel better in their life, one word. And that's progress. Okay, I, I, I'm on a rant. Let me, let me, let me go. All right, so we have two other areas. We have two other areas. The first, uh, next area we have is celebrate. We're going to celebrate any wins. So we take a few moments and we ask ourselves three questions. Go ahead and jot these three questions down. Number one, yesterday. Yesterday, just yesterday, not the other day, but just yesterday. What are you most proud of from a sales perspective? Number two, what was your biggest accomplishment yesterday? And number three, what do you want to brag about that took place yesterday? You, you can't wait to step up some action that was taken to just brag about it. And then after we celebrate our wins, because sometimes we don't do that enough. We beat ourselves up too much. What are your biggest roadblocks that are facing you today? It's not fear of rejection. I'm confident of that. But it could be as you're listening right now, 
it could be that you just have to get started. What is preventing you today from taking the steps that you need to get your business done? Maybe it's your one page sales plan. Maybe it's just downloading the CEO sales dashboard. But I'm going to encourage you to take that action today. And number three, number three, what's the one thing, the one thing that only you could do that if you did it, if you did it right now, it would move your life and business forward. So we ask these questions. The reason we ask these questions, we're at the 15 minute and 27 second mark. The reason we ask these questions is because powerful people ask powerful questions because questions steer focus. And in this life, you get what you focus on. All right. We're going to now move to the word or the message of the day. The message of the day. Let me see the message of the day. Da, 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 da. The message of the day. So I was having a conversation and the individual was sharing with me how they already know their numbers. That there's someone who's not numbers oriented, but they're aware of how much revenue comes in on a daily basis. And I thought that was pretty cool because their whole life they'd always heard, know your numbers, know your numbers, know your numbers. But then in the conversation, I introduced just this one idea. And I said, it's no longer about knowing your numbers. It's about having this one distinction, which is understanding beyond common knowledge, although they've done it very well. And here it is. What gets measured gets managed. So you must measure and manage your sales indicators. And when you focus on the five sales indicators, leads, appointments, deals, offers, and repeat business, when you focus on those five areas, you will see your sales skyrocket and go increasingly high. As a result, this person took action and now they're focused on it. Why? Because you get what you focus on. And if you can't focus on sales, you just can't be in business. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the word or the message of the day. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. I want you to know as you're listening, you're amazing. You're incredible. If you haven't already, follow us over at, at I am Che Brown. Drop me an I am because you can see me, but I can't see you, by the way. If you're listening to the podcast, thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. We appreciate you. You can find us over at any podcast station. Just type in CEO Sales Huddle. Download the prior episodes. Listen to the case studies. And then download the CEO dashboard over at CEOSalesHuddle.com. You? You're an incredible CEO, you're an amazing CEO, and you're making a lot of impact on the world. With that being said, it's been an honor and privilege to serve you. My name is Shay Brown. It remains that it hasn't changed. It's still Shay Brown. I'll see you at the next CEO Sales Huddle. Peace, everybody.